Hello everyone and welcome back to World of Warcraft. Today we're starting off by following the attacker's trail. What peculiar wounds? They almost remind me of a bear. Do they look like a bear wounds to you? Uh, well I'm no expert. Well maybe I am an expert. Being a hunter I guess maybe we would be. Or maybe not a bear. She looks like she ran afoul with an outlaw or something. An outlaw or something. Indeed. I hope this guy isn't like the best investigator they have, because if he is, then they're in trouble. With all these corpses, it could have been us that killed all of these things. More bear wounds. An outlaw and his pet bear, perhaps. Whoops. Did we... Hmm. It's only summoning our... Albatross. Assuming one of these is the eagle or hawk that we captured. Ah, uh, there we go. Perfect. Could it be a combination of the two, a man-bear, or is it bear-man? Could just be a yeti. I need a target. A Wendigo, sorry, a Wendigo. Not a Yeti at all, but they use the same models for Yeti as they do for Wendigo, even though they're, like, if you look at the lore for each, they're, like, drastically different creatures, they make them look the same, so... What are you gonna do? And then we're looking for ice chunks. Ooh, that was a rare bear right there. Are we looking for ice chunks like out around in the world? No, it doesn't look like it. Oh yeah, there are some out here, but there's also some in this cave. I don't have a target. I wasn't really expecting that to happen. We're not really getting a lot of ice per chunk. Not when we need 20. Oh! 
I think this should kind of be a lesson in how to make an incredibly boring quest. There's really nothing interesting or exciting or challenging about this one. It's just kind of annoying. Especially when we don't have any, like, solid AoE. Oh good, we need one more. Perfect. to make your acquaintance. A see to your affairs. Alright, let's head back and we'll turn this in. I need a target. Well, the goats can walk up there easily, but we cannot. Wind's howling today. Thank you for dealing with the threats. I'll see that the men who died out there have a proper send-off. Carry on strong. Having a second ring could help. Having any trinkets at all would probably be a bonus as well. Okay, and then uh, the other thing we have to take care of is left at the port. Uh, which is going to be a little bit of a run from here. Do you know what people love? The unexplained. Problem is, everything here is explainable. So I have a plan to create our own phenoma phenomenon. There are stories that talk about some weird chicken snake hybrids that can turn you to stone. I've already released the chickens. Now we just need the snakes. The first problem can be solved easily. Just chase down the chickens and stick one of these robotic tails on them. While us fizz brackets may not be goblins, we still know a business opportunity when we see one. The resort staff is getting trained, the place is getting cleaned up, now all we need is some quality marketing. Wolford holds up a familiar looking box. Behold, the wondrous gnomish engineering feat that is the selfie camera. Now, if only there was a generous human willing to capture the radiance of this place. 
Must we? Enjoy the resort! Hi there! Remember, don't feed the wildlife! Uh, okay. A lot of stuff to do right in the general area. Not really sure what happened there, but okay. Need a target. Okay, um, you know what? Do you know what? These quests are singularly disinteresting to me and utterly boring. <laughs> what we're doing right now. So, yeah, we're not gonna keep doing it. We are gonna head back and we're gonna speak to Flynn. Because, yeah, I'm good on the whole taking selfies thing. I feel like if you're playing a game and the things that you're doing in a game make you think, why am I spending my time this way? It's a, definitely a good time to do something else in that game or perhaps not be playing that game. So we're going to go with option A and we're going to try to go do something else. Because when I'm picking up pieces of wood in a pond and taking pictures of myself with a selfie camera and I'm playing World of Warcraft, uh, that's when I start to wonder just what am I doing.
And that's not what I want to be doing, so... Let's see if Flynn has anything more interesting for us. And I hope he does. Blood or gold? Everything. I'll follow your lead. Remember, the key to going anywhere you don't belong is just to walk in like you own the place. Okay, fair enough. Good morning, and sir. We're not going far. Timetable's changed, boys. Get your grogs to go. Quick, hide. Oh, I call the empty oh, barrel. No, I think you my barrel has one. pee in it. <laughs> nope, never mind. It's ale. We're good. Clients want the stuff right now. We're shoving off. Steady as she goes, helmsman. Wait. Do you hear that? Pretty. Helmsman, steer us away. No, you idiot! The other away! <laughs> Ship does not move in either direction. Ship continues to go straight. I'm assuming sirens? Possibly sirens? I love that Blizzard has all these new character customizations, but you watch cutscenes like that and you will see like clones within a little cutscene like really we we couldn't get a different looking guy there in the background had to be bare chested ponytail guy there twice fancy a cuppa uh beachcomber bob you all right mate i'm afraid your ship's gone something tells me you weren't really a part of the crew anyway were you I see the sirens have made another catch. You're lucky they haven't stripped your bones yet. If you need to trade supplies or just warm yourself by the fire, there's a camp up the hill behind me. Everyone there washed up on the tides, just like you. Figure we've got folks from at least four or five shipwrecks now, all banded together just trying to survive. Talk to Stabby Jane. Don't worry about her nickname, she's actually really nice. Looking for a friend from the wreck, huh? If he survived, he may have wandered up the path to our camp. Now if he ain't up there toasting his buns by the fire, well, a lot of poor souls fall victim to the song of the sirens. You should check the camp before you go wading out into the tideway. Ask our leader, Stabby Jane. She'd know for sure if a new survivor showed up. The cool ways to the sea. Slightly more interesting than snapping selfies with random wildlife or random gnome, I'll say that. What can I do for you? I'm Jane. I was a cell sword serving on a merchant vessel before the sirens dragged us in. These folks fished me out of the tideway, gave me a nickname, and have been like family ever since. They may seem a bit odd, but they're good, honest people. For some of them, washing up here was a welcome change from whatever life they endured before. A chance to start over. Others are just trying to survive until they can get back home. Ah, you must be from the latest wreck. Those damn sirens are getting bolder by the day. Look all ways to the sea. Safe passage to you. Haven't seen anyone like that. I'm afraid your friend may have been lost to the siren's call. Fancy a cuppa? The sirens in this tideway have drawn countless ships to their doom. Wiping them out would be a boon to all seafaring folk. But you can't very well kill them all. Only a fool would try that. The real dangerous ones are the elders, the sisters as they're known, bigger, smarter, and stronger than the younger ones. Their voice carry far their voices carry far out to sea and bring in all the big catches. I managed to track down two of them to a den at the northern end of the tideway, but I can't take them on alone. But guess who can? 
It's tough out there. Pirates, deadly monsters, hungry Sam seeming the endless battle with indigestion. Nothing sets the nerves at ease like an old keepsake, something to remind you of home, something to keep you going. Ask around the camp, find out what folks might have lost out there in the tideways. If you can bring any of it back, it'd be a mighty kind gesture. Me? Oh, I had a locket. Never mind. It's too small. You'd never find it. It's nothing. Don't worry. Oh, we're gonna find it. Smooth sailing. Oh, hungry Sam, I wonder if you want us to kill animals for meat. Good day to you. <laughs> Yeah, he wants us to kill some Save animals for meat. I think we get it. Let's go talk to all these people and see what they're missing. Oy. Safe passage to ya. Probably my compass. It never led me astray. Well, until I, we ended up here, but that's hardly the compass's fault. I mean, it's it's an inanimate object. You can't really blame it. Yeah, sure, buddy. Admiral's favor, friend. Oh, that's easy. My trusty lunchbox. Never had a bad meal out of that lunchbox. I miss it dearly. Finest wires in cold tears, right there. I had a toy robot, a little wind-up fellow I brought from I bought from a gnome back in Borellis. Alright. Let's grab our flight path. Oh here's the captain of the ship we stowed away on. Curse these slimy wretches. Their singing sets men's hearts afire and their brains adrift. My ship's aground, my cargo's lost. Nothing for it now but to fight. Come at me, you briny hogs! I'll fly your hides as we do colors! Alright, well, let's get into it here and start fighting everything and... clicking on everything. and freeing some humans while we're about it. It's too far away. Oh, this one has a chain of three humans. Nice. Although we don't really seem to have a quest for freeing humans. So hopefully we didn't miss anything. But if we did, it probably doesn't matter too much. I need to get closer. Let's go pick up some of the lost items before we make our way over to where Flynn is marked at on the map. Glint of metal catches your eye among the gently bobbing floatsome. Digging into the tangled seaweed, you discover a locket of simple yet sturdy design. 
Opening the locket reveals a hand-drawn picture of a woman with fiery red bangs. Her arm is around a woman with short-cropped auburn hair, and the two are proudly displaying warm smiles for the artist. Oh, this is uh, Stabby Jane's locket that she said was too small that we would never find. Well, we found it. Here's the toy robot for the big burly dude. I'm out of range. Steel lunchbox for the hungry guy. Let's go slay the named sirens over here. I need to get closer. Well, that was ultimately pointless. Alright, let's head over and find out where Flynn is and what's going on with him. And while we're doing that, we need one more of these lurkers. I'm sure we'll find one. We'll just take out everything in our path. It says they're only in this area here. Alright, well let's go see what Flynn wants us to do. It's too far away. So beautiful. Not exactly, Flynn, not exactly. You, you killed the love of my life. Oh boy. How could you? Oh, and he runs away and disappears into thin air. That is a good trick. I mean, I guess he is kind of a rogue, right? I mean, he dual wields swords. So maybe he's literally stealthing when he does that. We're just going to say that he's stealthing. I was going to say, something tells me I'm I'm not getting up here. Where, where do I think I'm going anyway? <laughs> Nowhere. Alright, let's get this. And let's hike it back. Let's remember that we can mount up. Wow. <laughs> That's awesome. Hundreds of times in Classic we will ride right by an enemy and it's fine. And then, of course, somehow in retail we get dismounted immediately. First thing that hits us, dismounts us. Good. Good, good. Alright, let's uh, take, well, either of these. But we'll take the feet. Not bad for a flea bitten stowaway. You're lucky I didn't find you before we ran aground, or it'd be your guts I'm scraping off me boots. Careful about sticking your nose into ash vein business. They're as filthy as they come. Are you gonna disappear too, or are you gonna give us like another quest? Or are you just not gonna disappear but not give us another quest? 
Maybe she's going up to the camp. Ahoy! Ugh, my head. My heart. Feels like a good hangover and a bad breakup put together. On the bright side, I think I know where we are. And where that ship was headed. Freehold. It's a free town for, uh, free folk. The only rule is that there are no rules. A lot of guys with peg legs and eye patches and exotic pets. Catch my drift? There's a trail through the hills that'll take us there. I'm pretty sure I remember the way. Watch your back out there. Okay, we have like a ton of quests to turn in back in this direction though. It seems like he's just gonna stand there and wait for us to go back and talk to him. Maybe. Possibly. Yeah, well maybe we're just gonna fail this quest because it's an escort quest. <laughs> and we just left him there. Who knows? What can I do for All right. Here's some food. Keep the wind in your sails. Good day to you. Here's your locket. Jane takes the locket and opens it tenderly. Tears begin to well up in her eyes as she closes it and tucks it away in her jacket. Thank you. Keep the wind in your sails. Safe passage to you. Keep the wind in your sails. All right. Uh, looks like we've cleared that out. Only thing left to do now is to escort Flynn over to Freehold. And so that's what we are going to do next. 